What is Hugging Face and how to use it? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Hugging Face, the AI community building for the future. Now, what exactly is Hugging Face and what can you do? Well, Hugging Face is a platform where you can see multiple different AI models. It is the home of machine learning, where you can create, discover, and collaborate on ML better. You can accelerate your ML and you can compute as well. So this is an open source tool. So they are building the foundation of ML tooling with their community. They have over 100K transformers and over 30,000 diffuse, around 30,000 diffusers and over 3,000 safe tensors as well as 2,700 hub Python library. So this platform is a really diverse AI platform. You can see they have multiple different models, data sets, spaces, and their own community platform. So let's get started with Hugging Face. To get started, click on sign up on the top right to get started. Then you're going to confirm that you are a human and then proceed with your email address and then you're going to complete your sign up. Once you have completed your sign up, you're going to log on to your account. You do need to verify your email before you can get started with Hugging Face. So once you've done that, this is what your Hugging Face dashboard is going to look like. Now within this, you can go ahead, go into models and you are actually able to see some of the popular models right now. You even have their data sets that are available. Then you also have spaces. So if you go into spaces, you can see different spaces of the week, all running apps trending first. Let's say I want to go with Grok4 Heavy Free. So if I go into this particular application and this is just going to open up the server. And then after that, once the server optimal has been opened, I can see that this particular server is for Grok4 Heavy. And then I can proceed with using Grok4. Now, whatever question I have, I can ask it. So I'm going to, you know, ask something really generic and then it's going to proceed with thinking. So on and so forth, you can explore some of the other spaces that other people have created. Now, within Hugging Face, you can find spaces for image generation, video generation, text generation, language translation, speech synthesis, 3D modeling, object detection, text analysis, image editing, and more. So let's say I want to create an image so I can go into image generation and then I'm going to go into Flux1 Dev. Once I do that, I can proceed with the Flux1 Dev application on Hugging Face. And once I've opened up the application, I can proceed. I can enter my prompt. Let's say a woman standing in front of a castle. And then I can proceed with their advanced settings as well. I have the speed and we can enter the speed. We can enter the width, height, guidance scale, number of inference steps. And then I'm just going to click on run. And just like so, it is now creating our image. And right now our image is being created. It's currently being completed and within a few seconds I would be able to view my image. Now I can click on download on the top right to download my image. You guys can see it's a really nice image. It's very similar to what you'll find on Midjourney and Eleven Labs and a lot of those other paid tools that are available. So just like so you can get started with Hugging Face which truly does provide you with a different experience. Now, when it comes to some of its other tools, they are also pretty amazing. So if I want to go with object detection, I can go with their LLM de uh, de demo. I can have Volvo 13. They even have 3D modeling available. So within 3D modeling, you have Omnipart, you have Milky 2, Pi 2, 3D Heart. And let's say I want to go with 3D Heart over here. Currently, this model is running and it's an interactive view of a 3D Heart. Now you can see how you can control the heart. So you can point one index finger, rotate and tilt. You have the spread hand to zoom in and zoom out. You have a make a fist to reset the heart. And then you have the peace sign to toggle the pulse of the heart. And right now our 3D model for our heart is lo being loaded up. And then once our model is loaded up, we can actually view and see what it, you know, looks like. And over here, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds. Now, these are just some of the models that are already running. We can obviously explore and create our own with Hugging Face as well, which is, you know, what makes us such an amazing open source tool. So going back into Hugging Face, if we go directly into models rather than going into spaces, you guys can see on the left, you are able to filter out what type of task you want to accomplish. 
Then below that, you can see you have the parameters. Below that, you also have the libraries, applications, and inference providers. Let's say I want to create a text to image, and then I can view all of the models that are available. So instead of the Flux1 model, I want to use something different. Let's say I want to go with this particular model here. I can click on this, and once I view the model, I can click on train to train this on my own. I can fine tune this model without any code and train it to be my own, and I can proceed with auto training. You can even click on deploy and then you can provide your inference. You have all these servers with inference providing, including Amazon, HF inference endpoints, spaces, Azure ML. Then you can click on use this model over here and then proceed with your library. You have draw things, diffusion B and more. Now, not only do you have the ability to extract, you know, and build your own customized model, but you also have the ability to do all of this with the added bonus of using their data sets. So if you're unsure on what kind of data you want to train your model on, you can go into data sets over here and you can go into any particular data set that you want to train your AI model on. And this just gives you the opportunity to diversify your AI. You know, you're able to provide it with a diverse perspective and you can, you know, add multiple different data sets. You guys can see on the left, you have the type of data set. So if you're looking for 3D models that you want to train it on, if you're looking for audio, documents, geospatial training, image training, a tabular training, text training, time series, or video training. So you have all of these other methods of a, all of this type of data that is readily available to you so that you can train your AI models. Now, moving forward to actually make your own model or to train your own model, just select the data that you want to train it on. Once you do that, you can click on use this data set and then click on data sets and then copy this and you can use this in your data set library. And then if you're going to community, you have blog articles, you have social posts, as well as daily papers. So this allows you to stay updated with your community, which is a very active and engaging community, which is always going to help you in gathering more information, improving upon models, and building your own AI to be customized and tailored accordingly to your fit and to your needs. Now you might think, hey, all of this must be super expensive, but that is the best part about Hugging Face is that it is not expensive at all. When you take a look at how amazing its features are, it's easy to assume that it must be expensive as well, but that is not the case. When it comes to Hugging Face, you can get started for free. However, if you're getting started for free, you're not going to be able to use the full extent of all of their features. So on their pro plan, you can get started for only $9, where you have 10 times the storage capacity, as well as the ability to have 20 included interface credits, inference credits. Then you also have a data set viewer for private data sets. The team plan is more so for, you know, growing teams and, you know, larger teams. Within this, you have the ability to get started with SSO and SML support, choosing your own data location and more. And then the enterprise level starts with $50 per user per month. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe subscribe and if you have any questions or any queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video